What's up guys, Sam Adams here and welcome to On The Topic Of, which is a series every single Friday here on my channel where I choose a video game topic that's been in the news spotlight in the past week or so and I give my thoughts and opinions on it along with some background information to try and keep you guys up to date on what's going on in the world of gaming. And this week we're going to be talking about Assassin's Creed Syndicate not having a companion app to go alongside of it when the game is released later this fall. I think that that's a great thing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So it's no shock or surprise to anyone to hear that whenever Assassin's Creed Unity launched late last year, it was not generally accepted by the community. People did not like that game whatsoever. The main character was said to be very boring. There were tons of glitches whenever the game first came out. That was pretty much all I saw across every form of social media as far as gaming news went for like the next month. And it was pretty much just an embarrassment because they tried to squeeze too much into one year. Ubisoft was developing Unity and Rogue at the exact same time time and they release them on the exact same day which is just a too much for one company to handle and then there was this companion app that released alongside unity which to the community's surprise actually had some content in unity locked and it was only accessible if you accessed it through the app which is kind of ridiculous considering some of your fan base might not have a smartphone some people don't like playing on their phones whenever they're playing games and some people just like to play a game and keep their phone in a completely separate room completely separate entity forget that it exists and escape from it to play Play the game so why would you go ahead and integrate the game even deeper into the phone obviously Ubisoft heard this because a patch was released earlier this year that kind of took all of that out of unity and you are able to access that content directly from the game itself now and they kind of went back and fixed their mistake but still it had become evident that the companion app was not such a good idea so now we fast forward to here where there is officially no companion app for syndicate and on top of that it was announced a couple of weeks ago that there is not going to be any multiplayer or co-op component to Assassin's Creed Syndicate and that is absolutely beautiful news to my ears because I have pretty big hopes for Syndicate to kind of redeem the Assassin's Creed franchise and bring it back to the roots that I really do know and love. See, the thing with the Assassin's Creed franchise that's happened over the years is that innovation slowly crept in and little things started to change in each of the progressing games that made the franchise better and better. You know, you had the addition of co-op here, there was some multiplayer stuff thrown in there, and it was generally interesting stuff, so they kept on experimenting with it, and they added layer after layer after layer of innovation until it became some kind of weird giant mutant. It's kind of like if you replace one arm with a robotic arm, it's like, heck yeah, you got a robotic arm and then if you start cutting off everything else eventually you turn into something that's not even remotely human not to mention the quality side of things bear with me here I'm using a lot of analogies so imagine Apple the big huge tech company that makes the best phones lap well, arguably the best phones and laptops and all of that good stuff everyone knows Apple and everyone respects that company imagine if they still produced every single one of the items that they have ever sold in their stores the original iPod the iPods progressing that the original iPhone all the way up until the iPhone 6s if they made all of those how bad the quality would be because they are spread so thin making all of these different devices, the same exact thing happened with Assassin's Creed Unity. They were trying to cover too many bases alongside making a completely different game. There was just too much included in the franchise for the developers to keep up. Unity for Ubisoft was the equivalent of what waking up on top of a hotel drunk and shirtless is for an alcoholic. It means that it's time for a change. So with that being said, it looks like Syndicate is on track to become the best Assassin's Creed game that we've had in years. No multiplayer, no co-op, no companion app, just straight up single player action alongside what looks to be a pretty interesting story and I really can't wait to see how it turns out later this year. But for my final analogy, I want to compare Syndicate to Vanilla Ice Cream and just bear with me here. Uh, Assassin's Creed Unity, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, all of this stuff, it was the equivalent of cookie dough and birthday cake and all of the other weird Rocky Road flavors and all of that good stuff that they each have their own flair and there is a person out there that is going to like it and a group of people that will enjoy it. But there's just something about vanilla ice cream getting back to the basics and taking out all of the additional stuff that everyone just knows and loves. And obviously, if you don't like vanilla ice cream, well, then you're not gonna get that analogy. But just whenever something is stripped down to the basics, that's whenever the glory and beauty of it really shines through. And that's what I personally hope to see whenever Syndicate is released later this year. 
So there you guys have it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, drop me a like down below and let me know what you think about the development of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Do you think that stripping the franchise back down to its basic bare roots was the best way to do things? Or do you think that they should have kept some of the mechanics from the co-op and multiplayer side of the games in the past? Or even the companion app? Should they have just reworked it and kept it? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to head over and check out some of my other videos. I upload new stuff four or five days a week, so there is always something new for you to check out when you drop by and watch some videos here on the channel and as always i want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this particular video and i'll be talking to you a lot more since e3 is quickly approaching be sure to subscribe and share for more content and i'll talk to you soon peace